There are many facts about Arduino with which many students are not familiar. And one of the facts is this. Whenever we use analog write command on any PWM pin of Arduino Uno, there is a certain default frequency with which that post bit modulation takes place. Now the cool thing is that this default frequency can be changed to a value as high as 65 kHz and as low as 30 Hz by just typing a one line code. And that code is this here. For example, you are using analog write command on PWM pin D3 and D11. Now the default frequency for these two pins is this one here, 490.20 Hz. Now for applications like fading and LED, this frequency is a good choice. But there are certain applications like in an SMPS or buck converter where this frequency is nothing because for those applications we require frequency in the range of kilohertz. For that purpose, we can use this code here which can give us frequency as high as 31 kilohertz. Now there are some other areas where we need frequency much lower than this one. So for those applications, we can use this code here which will give us frequency around 30 hertz which is much lower than this one, the default one. And using this code is pretty simple. We just have to type this code before we initialize our digital pin as output. So to demonstrate this more practically, I'm using Proteus. Here you can see I have placed two Arduino and one oscilloscope. Now the third pin of each of the Arduino is directly connected to oscilloscope. In each of these Arduino, I'll burn two different codes. In one code, there will be the default frequency and in the other code I'll use that special code which I just showed you which is this here so in the first code which is just here this one you can see there's no extra piece of code I just I've just initialized the third pin as output and then use the analog write command whereas in the second program here I've used the that code here to change the default frequency to 31 kilohertz before I have initialized the third pin as output and then in wide loop I have used the analog write command. So this first program I'll burn in the first Arduino and this second program I'll burn in the second Arduino. So I'm going to open my Arduino ID and just copy the commands from here. The first program, the first Arduino, I'll just copy this and paste it here. Okay, now I'll just compile the program. While it compiles, I'll just create a new sketch and here I'll paste this program for the second Arduino. So control all and control V. Okay, now the program here for the first Arduino is compiled and the dot hex file is this here. So I'll just copy the path of this .x file, control C and paste it to the program file of this Arduino. Control V. Okay. Now the second program for the second Arduino is this one. So I'll compile this program, save it. And the path of .hex file for this program is this. So I'll just copy this, control C. And will paste in the program file of this Arduino. Control V and OK. Now let's run the simulation and see what we'll get. OK, so here you can see the frequency of the first pulse, which is for A. For A terminal is this one. And for D terminal, which is the green one you can see here, is for this terminal. So third pin of Arduino first is connected here in which I've just burned the code this one in which no additional piece of code is used. So the frequency is this here and for the second or, or, Arduino is uh, whose third pin is also connected to oscilloscope the output of waveform is this. So you can clearly see the frequency is increased several times. Now we cannot measure the frequency and the oscilloscope of the Proteus but you can clearly see that there is very big difference between the frequency of this pulse and this pulse.